What's going on, everybody? It's our Mike, and it has been a good minute that I have been using a film screen protector on the Pixel 6 Pro, as we can make out, possibly, let me see here, if we darken the screen, we might be able to see some faint, faint scratches in this film screen protector. You can tell it is a film, because you can see the cutout right around the front-facing camera. But the nice part is it has been working. I've not had many issues at all with this film and the optical fingerprint sensor reading my finger. Now I have trained it quite a few times just to make sure it would read before the screen protector. And then after I installed the screen protector, I trained it again just to be on the safe side. And I haven't had many problems. I know the screen protector is not as fast as other optical sensors on other phones, but I'm okay with that because I rather have the security on this screen protector over the speed. So, uh, yeah, as we can tell, there are some scratches on this screen protector, but that is okay because it is officially time to go on ahead and pull this screen protector off and put something else on in its place. So, for that, the screen protector we are checking out is coming from a fulfillment center out of Santa Fe Springs, California. Now, as for uh, who the manufacturer is, you're about to see. Obviously, it's a very thick box. Very thick packaging. And it is my favorite screen protector that I like. It is by Whitestone Dome Glass for the Pixel 6 Pro. This is a two-pack uh, premium screen protector, full resolution, full solution, full response, full clarity, full coverage, full filling. So, uh, liquid optical clear adhesive, the adhesive cures by UV light, bubble free installation kit, and uh, less technology. So, this is one of the new boxes that is by Whitestone. This is their new packaging. And this is a screen protector via Whitestone on their claims. Claims it will work with the optical fingerprint reader. No issues. Uh, there is a new updated listing on Android Authority, I believe, or maybe 9to5Google, uh, talking about what screen protectors are supported via Google and which ones they know work best with the Pixel 6 Pro. This is not one on that list, so this will be uh, something to give a shot. And uh, obviously it is a glass screen protector. It is not a phone like all the others. So uh, Whitestone Dome Glass has been something that I have enjoyed and I will continue to use. If this one works good, then obviously uh, leave a comment down below uh, letting me know if it is something Whitestone is something you have continued to use or if it is your first time looking at a Whitestone Dome Glass. Uh, hit me up in a matter of days, weeks, maybe even a month or so. Uh, asking, hey, how is the screen protector holding up? Uh, so we do get full coverage without lifting, high transparency, no colored edges, no dot matrix, does not affect touch screen sensitivity, high surface hardness prevents scratches, surface hardness is greater than 9H, anti-fingerprint coating, thin processed glass, shatter resistant film, rounded beveled edges and a blue light cut so it will help against blue light but uh, when it comes to pixel phones i know they're doing better to have a type of blue light filter or even uh, on your night mode your night light filtering if you're somebody that looks at the phone in the dark a lot you can cut out blue light completely through software so let's go ahead and crack into our box now that we have looked at the uh, what is listed on the back and they are still sealing the top of these boxes with a type of adhesive. So it's not just a flap that you can, uh, not just a flap you can pull open easily. And I'm straight up gonna end up destroying this. Poor box. But one thing I do like that I'm seeing already, we do get a new style of a jig 
for putting this together. So that is awesome. So let's pull that out first. So here we have, this is our new jig setup, our new rig for installing our white stone dome glass. And by the look of it here, we have three, not just two, but three solutions because we do have two tempered glass with this. So we have our normal uh, LCD cleaning cloth, our wet wipes. We have our dry towel in here, I believe. Uh, we have our absorption pads like we've gotten in the past. Like I said, our three liquid adhesives. What else do we have here? We have our uh, covers for covering our um, covering our speaker or speakers. Please use this card when removing dome glass. That's pretty cool. So they're including a card now for that. Uh, I do not know what these pieces are for. This is something new. So, yes, we're going to have some reading to go through on this. That is for sure. So uh, let's put all the stuff back in here for the moment. And I'm not going to show this video, this install in this video, because uh, being that this is a new jig, a new experience, I do want to go over it very carefully and slowly at my leisure. So I don't want to uh, put all that on camera. Not on this one. Maybe when I do the next one, because I will be doing my wife's screen protector as well. And we do get our UV light in the box, along with our cable, which it is a micro USB to full size USB A. And that's it. So that's those. Our UV light has not changed. It is still our same white stone dome glass. Uh, one tap for 15 seconds, two taps for 60 seconds. Our arms to expand, revealing our lights, our button, and our connector. So I'm going to go on ahead and get this installed, and we will check it out. Okay, so we have our new Whitestone Dome Glass Pixel 6 Pro screen protector on and in place. As you all can see, raised awake, put a finger on that sensor, and voila. It does unlock with no issues. And we can make out here our cutout for our front facing camera in the front. It does come with quite a few extra pieces with this screen protector setup and our new jig in its style here. So underneath here, let me pop this piece out. On our jig, one of the first things I had noticed, if I can get it free. We have quite a few new excess new components. So we have a new decal, new sticker here for your speaker up top. Uh, our pads, our absorption pads, actually slide in from the sides. You do not drop them in like you used to on some of the older jigs. So I'm going to disassemble some of this. So those are our old absorption pads. Uh, other things that do come with our packaging here. These, like I said, these are the decals or the stickers to cover your speaker, as you can see there. Uh, another component, this is your drop pin that slides in here through the top. Helps you uh, pull that screen, pull that out and drop your screen protector onto your phone. And a different piece that comes this time around. I think they had a ton of people having issues with uh, getting stuff in their ports or on their ports. Uh, these stickers, these black pieces of real, real fine, um, I guess you would say, uh, like a graphic paper, a real fine decal. Uh, these go over all your ports on your phone. So across your uh, microphone up top, uh, one sticker will cover your speaker array and mic at the bottom and your USB-C. You will have one that can cover your SIM tray on the side cover your buttons up so that way you're not wiping out all the excess adhesive and having to take alcohol swab after alcohol swab to it. We obviously still get our stickers, our dust removal stickers, your alcohol wipes. We have a ton of extra pads just because if you do mess up you have some more to use again. 
and we have our second uh, screen protector in the box. So I am going to do my wife's as well. Uh, another thing that I think I did mention before I put the screen protector on, you do get a card this time around with the new jigsaw. So this is your card from when you need to remove your dome glass if you mess up. That way you're not using your own card to try to pull it your own credit card, debit card, whatever. But either way, it is working perfectly fine on my 6 Pro. Not having any issue with either finger. Let's go ahead and try my index. I do have that set up as well. Looks good. That's up. Good to go. Full glass screen protector. No bubbles, no issues on my first shot with this. So I am happy with it. It does work with our later case, as you can see. Corners show pretty well. You can make out where the screen protection screen protector actually stops. So, but no, it is nice to have glass on top of glass again and not be using the film that you have to worry about scratching. So, that is it for this video. If you like it, hit the like button, comment, subscribe. I know there are a few other videos out there already of people that have made their Whitestone dome glass reviews. I encourage you to check theirs out as well. They show what other cases will work with these. Um, remember, if you do go with a white stone, and if you have had issues in the past registering, make sure to get logged back in or create a new account again. Register it, get it warrantied and protected. That way, if you have any issues, you can get another one sent to you for a minimal cost. So, again, this is Arf Mike. Have a great night. Chat with you all in the next one.